Before we proceed on our discussion, let me present to you our objectives. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to Define probability, sample space, events, union, and intersection of events. Define and illustrate simple and compound events. Illustrate all the possible outcomes using list, table, and tree diagram. Illustrate union and intersection of events using Venn diagram. Let's get started. Probability is a branch of mathematics that enables us to predict the occurrence of an event as a result of an experiment. The different examples of experiments in probability are tossing a coin, rolling a die, randomly picking a marble in a jar, choosing a card in a deck of cards. These experiments are activities which could be repeated and which have a well-defined results. The results in an experiment is what we call the outcomes. The set of outcomes in an experiment is the sample space. It is usually denoted by letter S and can be written using a set notation. Lastly, event is a subset of a sample space. For you to understand more about these terminologies, let's have an example. Let's have an example. Given that the experiment is tossing a coin, what do you think are the possible outcomes? That's right, we have a head and a tail. Since we only have two sides in a coin, a head and a tail. Thus, we can write the sample space as S is equal to the set of head and tail, or simply S is equal to the set of H, T, H for the head and T for the tail. More so, the events are showing a head and showing a tail. Let's have another example. How about in rolling a die? What are the possible outcomes? That's right, we have six possible outcomes, and those are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the sample space can be written in the form of S is equal to the set of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Example of events are getting a number 4, getting a number 3, getting an add number, and so on. Now, let us talk about the probability of an event could happen. To determine the probability of an event, we can use the formula. Probability of E is equal to the number of ways the event can occur over the number of possible outcomes. Or, probability of an event is equal to the number of outcomes in the event over the number of outcomes in the sample space. At this moment, we will discuss simple event and compound events. Let us differentiate them first. For a simple event, it is any event which consists of a single outcome in the sample space. However, compound event is any event which consists of more than one outcome, or simply consists of two or more simple events. Let's have an example. For simple events, a die is rolled what is the probability of getting a 3? The single event is getting a 3. For compound events, we have find the probability of getting a 6 and a 1 when the two dice are rolled. We have two events. The first event is getting a 6 and the second event is getting a 1. Let us now try to solve examples of probability of simple events. Are you ready? Great! Let's start! Let's have an example. Example number 1. A die is rolled. What is the probability of obtaining a 7, an add number, not a 4, number less than 7? In rolling a die, the possible results are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the sample space is S is equal to the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To solve the following, we can use the formula number of ways event can occur over the number of possible outcomes. Let's start with the probability of getting a 7. 
probability of getting a 7 is equal to 0 over 6 since the faces of a die do not have a 7. So, 0 is in the numerator. And the denominator is 6 since a die have 6 faces. 0 over 6 is equal to 0. In probability, 0 means impossible. Thus, we can say that when you roll a die, the probability of getting a 7 is impossible. Now, let us solve the probability of getting an add number. The probability of getting an add number is equal to 3 over 6 because we have 3 add numbers in the sample space, which is 1, 3, and 5. And the total possible of outcomes are 6. We can still simplify 3 over 6. So we have 1 half because 3 divided by 3 is 1, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 1 half is 50%. So the probability of getting an odd number when you roll a die is 50% or 1 half. How about the probability of getting not a 4? Using the formula, not getting a 4 includes 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6, which means we have 5 number of ways the event can occur, over 6 because we have 6 possible outcomes. 5 over 6 is the probability of getting not a 4 when you roll a die. How about the probability of getting less than 7? Again, using the formula, we have 6 over 6 because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are all less than 7. So we have 6 on the numerator and 6 on the denominator because the number of possible outcomes is 6. 6 over 6 is equal to 1. In probability, 1 means certain. Example number 2. A jar contains 7 green marbles, 5 red marbles, and 8 blue marbles. If a ball is picked from the jar, what is the probability of getting a blue marble? The sample space is S is equal to the set of 7 green marbles, 5 red marbles, and 8 blue marbles. Now, let us use the formula. Number of ways the event can occur over the number of possible outcomes. So the probability of getting a blue marble is equal to 8 over 20. Since we have 8 blue marbles, so the numerator is 8, and we have a total of 20 marbles in a jar, that is 7 plus 5 plus 8. 8 over 20 can still be simplified by dividing both the numerator and denominator by 4. So we have 2 over 5 because 8 divided by 4 is 2 and 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. Therefore, the probability of getting a blue marble is 2 over 5. Now, let me give you some examples of probability of compound events. Example number 1. Find the probability of getting a 6 and 1 when two dice are rolled. This is a compound event because we have two events, getting a 6 and getting a 1. We need to determine first the possible outcomes in rolling a pair of dice. We can show it using a table. The first row determines the possible outcomes of the first die. And the first column are the possible outcomes of the second die. We will combine the column and the row to determine all the possible outcomes in the pair of dice. So the possible outcomes are 1 and 1, 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 1 and 4, 1 and 5, 1 and 6, 2 and 1 until 2 and 6, 3 and 1, 3 and 2 until 3 and 6, 4 and 1, 4 and 2 until 4 and 6, 5 and 1 until 5 and 6, 6 and 1 until 6 and 6. So we have the total number of outcomes in the sample space is 36. Or using the fundamental counting principles, 6 times 6 is equal 
to 36. Take note that getting 6 and 1 when two dice are rolled is an event consisting of 1 and 6 and 6 and 1 outcomes. Hence, the number of outcomes in the event is 2. So the probability of an event is equal to 2 over 36. Simplify, we have 1 over 18. Since 2 divided by 2 is 1, 36 divided by 2 is 18. Thus, the probability of getting a 6 and 1 when 2 dice are rolled is 1 over 18. Example number 2. A die is thrown and a coin is tossed. Show all possible outcomes. To show all the outcomes, we could use a list, a table, and a tree diagram. We all know that for throwing a die, the sample space is S is equal to the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Also, for tossing a coin, the sample space is S is equal to the set of head and tail. Using listing method, the possible outcomes are 1 head, 2 head, 3 head, 4 head, 5 head, 6 head, 1 tail, 2 tail, 3 tail, 4 tail, 5 tail, and 6 tail. At this moment, given the sample space of throwing a die and tossing a coin, let us show the possible outcomes using a table. The first row determine the possible outcomes of the die, which are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And the first column determine the possible outcomes of the coin, which are head and tail. So the possible outcomes are 1 head, 2 head, 3 head, 4 head, 5 head, and 6 head. We also have 1 tail, 2 tail, 3 tail, 4 tail, 5 tail, and 6 tail. Last, to illustrate all the possible outcomes using tree diagram, first, we will list all the possible outcomes of the first event, which is the die. Each possible outcome of the die is paired with each possible outcome of the second event, which is the coin. We have head and the tail. By looking at the diagram, can you tell me the set of possible outcomes of the two events? Correct! We have 1 head, 1 tail, 2 head, 2 tail, 3 head, 3 tail, 4 head, 4 tail, 5 head, 5 tail, 6 head, and 6 tail. Let us now talk about union and intersection of events. Are you ready? Great! Let's start! What is union of events? Union is a set that contains all the elements that are in at least one of the two events. Union is denoted by A union B, which means A or B. In probability, the conjunction OR means addition. Let's have an example. If event A consists of 1, 2, 3, and event B consists of 2, 4, 6, then to find A union B, we will write the outcomes of the event A, which is 1, 2, 3, and the event B, which is 4 and 6. We will not write 2 anymore since it's already present in the set. Therefore, A union B is the set of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. How about the intersection of events? Intersection is a set that contains all the elements that are in both events. Intersection of events is denoted by A intersection B, which means A and B. In probability, the conjunction N means multiplication. Let's have an example. If event A consists of 1, 2, 3, while event B consists of 2, 4, 6, then to find A intersection B, we will look at the outcome present in both events, that is 2. Therefore, the intersection of A and B is equal to 2. 
At this moment, we will illustrate the union and intersection of events using Venn diagram. Given the following set of events, event A is the set of 1, 3, 6, 9, 12, and event B is the set of 6, 8, 10, 12. We will illustrate A union B and A intersection of B. First, let us construct a Venn diagram and label the two circles A and B. Next, we will write the elements found on set A and set B in the middle portion of the Venn diagram. Those are 6 and 12. Afterwards, we will write the event A, which is 1, 3, 6, 9, and 12. How about the event B? The event B are 6, 8, 10, and 12. Let us now analyze A union B and A intersection of B. In A union B, we need to write all. But we will not write the same elements or outcome. The event A, that is 1, 3, 6, 9, 12. Then the event B, which is 8, 10. No need to write 6 and 12 anymore. Thus, A union B is the set of 1, 3, 6, 9, 12, 8, 10. How about A intersection of B? We have 6 and 12 since those are the outcomes present on both sets.